What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Children's Plays Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 2 Part 1. This is the second 2.5D game Sega has ever made. The second Sonic game to be released on a digital digital download, exclusive only, and the first time Tails has ever been featured in a 2.5D game. Now, uh, this game is a sequel, a direct sequel to. Uh, episode 1, Sonic 4 Episode 1, and there, there will be a lot of different uh, things same with it, but there will also be a lot of differences with it as well. Uh, one of the big things is Tails is back, uh, as you can see there. Uh, well, I'll talk more about the different, the different, what's different as we go along, but first off, just like I did with Episode 1, I'm going to talk about the help and the options, I'm going to show those off quickly because they show, they talk about the game. Uh, the story for Episode 2, this is a shorter version of the actual story. And months after the events of Episode 1, the little planet of Sonic the Hedgehog CD fame once more near Sonic's world. At the same time, Dr. Robotnik unfurls his latest plan. It can't be pure coincidence with Tails and Toe Sonic sets off to investigate. So you can see little planet, I believe either, I believe it's up close rather than far, farther away. You can see the Earth again doesn't look like uh, the Sonic Unleashed Earth for whatever reason. Uh, world's fastest hedgehog champion of justice. He can be impatient, but is always there to help those in need. Same with the same description as in episode one. Sonic's friend and sidekick, a crack mechanic, who can also fly by spinning his two tails. He strives to be someone Sonic can depend on and follows wherever adventure beckons. Uh, Doctor Robotnik, a self-proclaimed evil genius with an IQ of 300, he will stop at nothing to turn the entire world into Eggman Land. The same description that uh, episode one gave. Uh, Metal Sonic, an ultra-high spec robot built by Dr. Robotnik to rival Sonic with speed and power to match the original. He has been lying in slumber, dreaming of the day he'll face Sonic once again. So, control-wise, exactly the same. Movement, move left or right with the directional buttons or the left analog stick to jump, X or, X or circle, whichever you prefer. Something different, though, you can call your partner to you with the R2 button, and I'll get more into that in a minute. Uh, again, just like all of the 2D Sonic games, defeat enemies by... Bump uh, by spinning into them or jumping into them to perform a spin dash. Uh, same with Episode One and the 2D games. Hold down on the directional buttons or the left analog stick and press square or circle once and then release to do to do the spin dash. You want if you press the buttons more, you'll charge it up and it'll be more powerful. A uh, homing attack, Sonic only. A Sonic press square or uh, X or circle again during a spin jump to, to perform a homing attack. Same way with Sonic uh, Episode One. Something di different, though, as Tails press the X or circle button again during a spin jump to begin propeller flight. Press down on the directional buttons or up the analog stick and X or circle to stop flying. Uh, tag actions. This is something new in the game that wasn't in uh, Episode 1 because they added Tails in this game. Perform uh, Press square to make Sonic and Tails join forces for attack action. There are three different kinds attack actions. One for land, one for water, and one for the air. Use of access places otherwise out of reach, and I will we will talk more about those here in a second. Uh, copter combo. This is the air movement one. Uh, this is the co uh, combo move for the air. Press square during a spin jump to use tails, tails to fly. Press X or circle during the co copter combo to ascend after a set number of button presses. Tails will get tired and slowly glide back down. Keep that in mind while flying. Only Tails' movements can be controlled in co-op mode. I'll talk more about that in a minute as well co-op mode. Submarine combo press square underwater while not touching the ground to make Tails use his propellers, propellers to zip through the water unlimitedly. There, Tails will never get tired while you're doing this. Tap X to circle repeatedly to boost his movement speed. Don't forget you still need to breathe underwater during the submarine combo. That is the only limit to what you can do with the submarine combo. You can do it infinitely while you're underwater. Only Tails' movements can be controlled in co-op mode. Now this is the ground combo, the rolling combo, press square while on the ground to make Sonic and Tails join together, then take off in a top speed spin. Hitting a wall during the rolling combo will slow you down and the action ends after the third hit. It's a powerful new maneuver, but don't forget it only goes one way, so you have to do, be very careful about which way you start the rolling combo. Game screen, similar to episode one, except for the life counter, has Tails' head in, instead of only Sonic's. In multiplayer mode, both players share lives and rings, keep that in mind. Uh, time up, reach the goal within 10 minutes or you lose a life, same with episode 1 and most of the old 2D Sonic games, game over screen appears if you run out of lives, Most with, that happens with most video games, you won't lose a life if you take damage while you have rings, you simply lose the rings, same description that episode, uh, episode 1 gave and with most Sonic games that happens, once you pass the star post, you can restart from, from there if you lose a life, same description that episode 1 gave us and 
same way with uh, most checkpoints in the Sonic series. Item boxes return once again. Smash item boxes to get items. Gives tip super ring. Gives sin ring for more. Temporarily spout power sneakers and temporarily increases speed. Shield protects once from enemy or trap. Invincibility gives temporary invincibility. Life increases lives by one. Uh, you can also gain 100 rings to, uh, get, to gain an extra life. And also you can get over 10,000 points at the end of a stage or a social stage. And you can get a uh, life that way as well. Special combination. This is new though. Sonic and Tails bounce around the screen and can defeat enemies while bouncing. Press uh, circle or, or X repeatedly to increase your score. Combination dash. This item appears only in the social stage. A glowing rope between the Sonic and Tails lets them scoop up rings. The rope disappears after a set time. I'll show that off once I get to, this, to the certain special stage. And the Red Star Rings first debuted in Sonic Colors. This is also the first time that the uh, Red Star Rings have debuted in a two in a 2D style Sonic game. Uh, one of these secret items is hidden on each act. As you play through the game and your skills improve, try replaying acts you've already cleared. Finding more difficult routes will help you encounter more Red Star Rings. So what that means is you you have to go back and play different uh, uh, acts. Like uh, the first zone, you'll have to go back and play a few, a few of those acts as you go along because some of those combos we won't learn until a certain point in the first zone. So you'll have to go back to act one or two to be able to find out where the certain uh, uh, areas we have to use like the uh, flying, the copter combo or the submarine combo, it, it just depends on wh where you are. A time attack mode returns once again, you can try time attack after completing an act or a boss battle, try to find the shortest route and finish in the least time possible. Leaderboards again once a uh, return once again, your best records in time attack and score attack will be ranked against the records of other players worldwide via PlayStation Network. Special stages clear each of the acts with 50 rings or more to cause a special special ring to appear. Touch that to play a special stage. You'll need to collect enough rings to clear each checkpoint as you make your way to the Chaos Emeralds. If you can see the picture there, it's, it looks different from what uh, Episode 1 was. I'll get more to that once we get to the actual uh, special stages. With two controllers, you can play local co-op mode. Select multiplayer, then local co-op mode to give it a try. Play together to enjoy the game in a whole new way. I won't be doing that. Uh, however, in online co-op mode, you can play together with players all over the world work together to get the best times and highest scores you can. Press select while playing to see your partner's online ID. Press uh, left trigger or right trigger to exit online co-op mode. Use the lobby screen to choose a partner with high connection quality. Uh, returning, in, returning in multiplayer falling off the screen. If you have trouble keeping up and fall off the screen, press X to return to the game. You will not lose a life. If you lose a life, you can return to the game as long as you have lives remaining. Press X to return to the game. Uh, PlayStation Network, uh, PlayStation registered carry mark of Sony Computer Entertainment Incorporated. The typefaces included here and are solely developed by Dynacomware, uh, Cryware trademark. Uh, controls, again, just the same. Is uh, you can see call with the R2 buttons, spin jump, X, circle, tag action, square, movement, and then uh, spin jump, dash, and movement. This is the special stage controls. The movement with the directional buttons. Left analog stick, spin, uh, jumping with X or circle, and you can dash or boot or speed up with these uh, square and triangle. I'll get more to that once I get to the special stages. Uh, settings, again, uh, I believe this is actually a little bit lower. You can turn the music volume up and the sound effects volume up if you care to. The credits we won't look at right now. Uh, multiplayer I won't be doing because I don't have another controller and I don't really feel like uh, giving my thing out, but. We're going to go ahead and start into the game. Sil Sylvania Castle Zone Act 1, A New Frontier. Uh, Sega was was pretty adamant about making this game new and adding a whole, a whole lot of new things to it. So there won't be... Everything here is new, uh, level-wise. Level enemies will be new. These will be new enemies we've never seen before, except for bubbles and a few enemies later on. But all of the beginning zones will be enemies we've never seen before, excluding bubbles. The robotic enemies that we've seen will be different as well. Uh, you can see here that is a full bore. Uh, well, let me, let me make sure that's his name. Uh, yes, full bore, a bore type robot, newly developed by Dr. Robotnik after uh, his after he tested some of the robots in episode one. So that's the first new enemy that we see, uh, similar to similar to the rhinos from. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Angel Island. Uh, they're not they're not exactly the same. These are more uh, pig shaped, but they they can tr 
they look the same. Well, they don't look the same, but they act the same as well as some some of the things they do. I don't think those enemies are given a name. I I do apologize. I do apologize if I'm uh, not familiar with their names. Uh, you can see we we cannot do any tag combos there, or I would have. This is the first area where we can actually do a uh, tag combo. Now this is now we have the copter combo unlocked. Tails can survive 10 button presses before he gets tired, so you will definitely want to be careful and use that to your advantage. Oh crap, well you're supposed to jump there, but you can see where the first red star ring is. That is... Oh, what is that enemy? Uh... Uh, the, those little robots we saw were zoomers, a newly de developed Kingfisher inspired robot. It flies over the water surface, but as it finds Sonic and Tails underwater, it will, d it will dart down at them. Uh... Uh, that robot was called a Chop Chop, a, a Piranha Beard Beetle inspired, or a Piranha type. Or okay, it's just a Piranha Fish inspired robot, which was last seen in Aquatic Ruin Zone in Sonic 2. It lurks underwater, uh, hunting for its next victim. Once it spots Sonic and his friends, nothing will stop their rapid approach and attempt to crush them with its powerful jaws. Uh, if you notice, Sylvania Castle looks a lot like uh, uh, Aquatic Ruin Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog 2, with a lot of the uh, kind of like fruits that were hanging around on the. I need some air. Well, I guess I can just jump down here and get some. Uh, but from the fruits that you saw at the beginning and just kind of the, the layout of it, it has nothing to do with it though. Like, uh, Lost Labyrinth Zone was supposed to be Labyrinth Zone, but in a state of disrepair. This game has nothing to do with it, however. Uh, how, how, with, uh, with. Aquatic Ruin Zone. It's it's uh, all new, as I said before. I believe this is the way that we... Oh, crap. No. Well, I was going to try to go back for the, the Red Star Ring, but I'm not going to uh, worry about it. I, I may make a separate video uh, t showing off all of the Red Star Ring locations in one video, or I may just cut them up for each individual act. I don't know yet. I don't even know if I'll show off every single Red Star Ring know what 100% or not. Now you can see this gimmick uh, was used in Marble Garden Zone from Sonic 3. There will be a, a few gimmicks that are used in uh, from earlier Sonic games, but for the most part it's all, it's, a, it's new. There is nothing the same about it. Pretty much it's uh, pretty much as I said, you know, it's brand new. Uh, the levels, the music, obviously. Oh crap! crap, crap. Get that. There we go. The the music, the uh, the level design, the, the enemies, the robotics boss battles will will be different as well. You can see here, you get over ten thousand points, and you get or just get ten thousand points or more, and you get you are able to go into the or you'll be able to get a life. So this special stage takes after the Sonic the Hedgehog. Hedgehog 2 special stages, which are in a half pipe, and you had to collect a certain number of rings to continue on. In this stage, you'll race through the course collecting rings. You'll need a set number of, uh, to pass through the checkpoints placed throughout the stage. If you don't have enough rings, the stage will end. Press X for a jump spin, and press Square to boost Sonic and Tails' speed as you make your way across the finish line. Now I'll show off the uh, speed boost here. You can see uh, that was the speed boost. This is what Sonic runs normally. Uh, runs like normally. Now, Tails in this game is a lot more helpful than he was in Sonic 2. You know, that it's just, uh, it kind of comes with the this being a new, or a next-gen title, or a, a newer game. In Sonic the Hedgehog 2, he, his AI wasn't that good, which, you know, which is understandable for a game of, uh, like back from back then or, or, or around that time. But Tails will definitely help you out a lot with collecting rings. You know, he will, he's not perfect. By no, you know, by no stretch of the imagination, but he's a lot better than he was in Sonic 2. He will stay behind you as much as possible, which is good and bad. But uh, he will, he will pick up any rings that you miss. Like if you're trying to go out after some rings in the very center of the half pipe, and you may, you may not be right dead on the middle. You may, you may be a little too far to the left or right. Well, since Tails is right behind you, he will go after those. Uh, he'll, he'll pick those rings up for you. Now, if you notice those. Uh, little green diamonds there. Those are electric electricity diamonds. I'm not sure about the 
official name for them. Uh, they don't hurt you, all they do is just slow you down through a section like this where you have to collect a certain number of rings and then you'll gain a bonus. And now later on in the in these special stages, those will become necessary to complete, but for now, early on, you don't have to do it. You can actually gain the necessary amount of rings early on through the first and second uh, sections of the special stage. As you can see, uh, just like Sonic the Hedgehog 2, we get the baby or the blue Chaos Emerald was acquired then in the first special stage, and the blue Chaos Emerald is acquired here in, in this special stage. You can see we unlocked the Copter combo. Uh, now we can use that on any stage we like. We couldn't use it before we unlocked it, but now, since we have unlocked it, we can now. Uh, if you notice the background, uh, or the half pipe color is blue. That will tell you what cut, what color emerald we are getting. If you are curious, I know some people are. Uh, personally, you know it. It's it's a nice touch, but I don't. Uh, it doesn't matter to me either way, to be honest. I don't think there's anything up there. Looking around for the oh, I think I know where that other uh, okay. So here we can use the submarine combo. I was trying to look around for the other uh, red star ring, but I don't. Uh, it doesn't really matter where where it is. You have to be right underneath that sign to be able to access the the uh, combo. So just you know keep that in mind. And you can seamlessly transition yourself from out from inside the water to outside of the water, so that's uh, useful to know. You know, if you need to collect whatever, or just need to go up to another set of platforms from the water, uh, it's pretty seamless, and you can uh, there is no trouble at all. You just have to be careful of tails is a ten button limit. Now, you probably should use tails while going through here, but. It doesn't. I don't really care. So yeah, I find it a lot easier just to move. I uh, use Sonic off through these sections myself. And uh, keeping air isn't a problem while you are hold while you are holding Sonic in the submarine combo. You can you can actually uh, get air, and I'll I can I can demonstrate that here. You just have to make sure that you're pointing up, but you can grab air with Sonic. And now, if you do, you won't take damn it. You won't take damage if you get hit with tails. But if you get hit with Sonic, you will take damage. You do want to keep that in mind. But tails will, will act as a pretty good shield for you for a little while. And just like uh, just like Episode One, you want to try to make sure that you collect all the nece the necessary amount of rings at early on, or you uh, you want to make sure that you collect the Chaos Emeralds early on. So that you don't, so that you're not forced to uh, getting them in the harder zones. And this is stupid to go back for a life like this, but oh well. Now if you notice those spring platforms, that you uh, all you have to do is just use the homing attack on them to flip them over, and you, that's how you make the spring come out. Now here I'll de I'll demonstrate it once again. The, Beat it to the top. Oh well, well. Now nah, this is where I, I can demonstrate it better here. But yeah, you, you can just kind of tell what you what you have to do with it. You want you want to be careful though, because if you do hit it from the bottom, you won't uh, you won't be able to be very happy because it will it will throw you a good ways. Now the submarine and roll and uh. uh these two combos are actually pretty useful for keeping yourself out of trouble and in danger, or out of danger, you know, like falling down a pit or whatever. But they're not as broken as you m might think. There is a, a kind of like a cooldown period before you can actually use Tails again once you use the, the Copter combo. Well, any combo. Uh, rolling combo really doesn't uh, help you or save you from danger, but the submarine and. Uh, Copter combo will, and there's a cooldown period for both. You cannot immediately access them once you let go of tail. So, it, learning when to let go and when not to let go will definitely help you out in the long run. And I'll, I'll be, I'll make sure to point out areas where, you, where you can uh, kind of show you. I won't die on purpose over it, but if I do die I, because of it, I can show you. So you can see here, tail is collecting the rings that I missed. Uh, I've only missed six, it looks like which is pretty good, and you can see that there are those 
super rings, you want you always want to try to go after any super ring you can because in the long run that will help you out more, uh, a lot more than a line of rings. And you can see these springs here; they will uh, send you up into other half pipes that will uh, help you out. You can see you have to kind of, uh, kind of just uh, boost your way and get onto the sides of those uh, half pipes to get those rings. Sometimes those were bombs; they will hurt you. They are the same style of bombs that were used in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Now, if you don't have enough rings while going through here, you can go along one of these. You do have to be fast, though, and if you do miss any rings, you will not get the bonus, so just keep that in mind. But, you know, it, if you were about 37 rings down, you can easily use that to pick up a few more rings. A lot of the times, the springs will be hidden at, at that stage of a special, uh, at that end of a special stage, so you do want to be very careful while uh, going for it. And if you do go for it, you will miss a lot of rings behind you, so you also want to be careful of that. You can see purple background, purple uh, bottom, a uh, purple half pipe, and you get the purple ring. That is the second ring, or that is the second Chaos Emerald. Uh, that color was the second Ch Chaos Emerald in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 as well. So that's, uh, I believe all the Chaos Emeralds will, uh, the colors will be the same order that we get them as we got them in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, if I'm not mistaken. I, I believe that is the way. So now we can use the submarine combo unlocked. So now if we... I don't believe there's any water in Sylvan Sylvania Castle Act 1. But if there was, you know, now you can go back and... Uh, yeah, I guess there was, wasn't there? When we missed that first red star ring. So you now you can go back and get that one red star ring that you missed. Or if you missed it. Uh, by using the... Uh, uh, by using the submarine combo. So here you can see uh, we have platforms that we can move by using the homing attack on them and some tilting platforms as well as some pillars that we have to you can either jump into them three times or you can use the homing attack on them three times it doesn't really matter uh, either way now this is where the rolling combo is introduced it will destroy it, it is not invin it, won't, it is not invincible well yeah, I guess it is for the most part it, you, won't, you won't take damage if you run into enemies that may have spikes on them or whatever uh, but it will however and it's a lot stronger. There will be a, a certain type of enemy in the next zone that that will involve us uh, using that to quickly kill kill him, or we can uh, kill him another way, which I will point out once we get there. Uh, but th this is a good, pretty good area to show off. You can see there's a ju uh, ho uh, what was his name? I guess he is another enemy. Thought he was different. Uh, Mantis, a grasshopper type robot, which is also featured in Omaha Over Garden Zone in Sonic 3. Uh, so I guess, I guess it's not completely new enemy wise. I, th I thought the game was completely new. Uh, I guess I forgot about the those mantises, but you know, oh well. But for the most part, this is a uh, this is a brand new game. So you can see these pillars. We have to use the home you have to use the homing attack on. But this game wasn't titled as a a nostalgia trip for the fans. It, you know, this was supposed to be a brand new game that was totally different than any other Sonic game you've played before. You know, with a few elements, uh, a few I guess nostalgic elements thrown in, but for the most part, uh, there's a red star ring around here. I don't remember exactly where it is. Let's try flying up here. There we go. So this is our first red star ring. This is it that actually? So if you notice where I was, just uh, repeated, I guess. Oh crap! Uh, and once you pass that shuttle loop with the mantis on it, you can then go through and uh, use the. Or you can. That that'll kind of tell you where you need to. Once you go past that shuttle loop, you can then, or yeah, shuttle loop, you can then uh, fly with tails, and you'll be able to easily get through there. Uh, but I lost my train of thought. Look, uh, thinking about that red star ring. Sadly, I, I don't guess it was uh, too important. Maybe I was just talking about how this game was supposed to be uh, totally new and wasn't. You know, with a few nostalgic elements thrown in, but for the most part, it was a, a brand new game.
gain. I wonder if he could use the rolling combo to get through here faster. Let's try that. I don't think so. Cause they, uh, okay, so there you go. You can, oh, crap. Alright, so you've noticed that sign down there. That sign was featured in Sonic Generations. This game came out in, uh, I don't remember the exact date, but in 2012, Sonic Generations came out in 2011. So, uh, they did reuse a few elements from that game, uh, from that game, well, I guess that one, that one element from that game. Uh, Red Bubbles do make a return here, so if you ha had problems with them in Episode 1, you do want to be very careful. The Mantises you always want to be careful for, they are a pain in the butt, uh, to deal with. But you can definitely tell, you can see the applications for the... Okay, from here, just wait until the platform closest to you is nearly flat and level, then you can just use the homing attack to get across them very easily, but you can see the usefulness of the copter combo, and how it could be a little bit broken, but for the most, it's definitely useful. You know, if you're just trying to go after the Chaos Emeralds, you, it's uh, a nice touch. I'm glad they added it. A lot of people, thankfully, don't use it a lot of the time just to try to speed up the level. I'm, I'm not sure if speedrunners will use Tails to try to get past a set of moving platforms fast, but most people that I've seen uh, do this game just for fun I uh, don't abuse Tails, and I, I certainly don't abuse Tails. I don't even think about it uh, just because I'm so used to not having the ability to save myself from danger a lot of the time. So I, I'm not even, I don't even think about using it. Now you do want to be careful, uh, Tails, you don't want to rely, rely on Tails too much to try and s save yourself. He still will get hit by bombs every now and again and he, that will mess you up in the long run. If you, uh, you really can't control Tails so there's no way to say, hey Tails, don't get hit by bombs, but uh, for the most part, you just want to be be careful and try try to get as many rings as you can with Sonic. Uh, this game, unlike Sonic the Hedgehog 2, you cannot play Tails by yourself or uh, or Sonic by yourself. You have to have both of them here with you, which makes these sp these uh, special stages a little bit harder. Because like in Sonic 2. You, you could have your rings decreased by playing as Sonic or Tails by yourself. So this is that, uh, whatever that ring thing was, I guess the special combination or something like that. What it does is, you can see, you, you kind of just move both characters from one side of the half pipe to the other to collect as many rings as possible. That will help you out later on about in the 6th or 7th special stage. You'll need to use that a lot more than now. But early on, it's, it's just a nice thing just to kind of help you boost your way up, and I'll talk more about that uh, later, but you can see red everything, so that we got the red Chaos Emerald, but again, this is the third colored Chaos Emerald that we get in Sonic uh, 2 as well, uh, but in Sonic Sonic 2 with the special stages, you would get decreased rings issue if you played uh, the character single instead of by themselves, which made it a lot easier to go through and try to beat the game and try to get all the Chaos Emeralds. Dueling Eggman's new creation, Sylvania Castle uh, boss. Now, unlike Sonic the Hedgehog 4, or uh, Sonic uh, Episode 1, you can actually gain 50 rings because there's a, a trophy and an achievement that requires you to beat every single boss as Super Sonic. So there will always be 50 rings in these boss fights for you to gain. So you can see Robotnik and Sonic. Uh, sharing some dialogue there. Obviously, you know, it's not actual, uh, like, text-based or anything like that. See, 50 rings, you would turn into Super Sonic probably here just to save your rings. Okay, so you can see, this looks similar, doesn't it? We use the uh, spears that these platforms will throw to jump up and attack Robotnik. Yeah, that'll be easy. Oh, okay. As I said, totally new boss fight. Uh, something to add about Tails in this game, really quickly, you can kind of see what you have to do. You have to use Tails, the copter combo, to be able to uh, fly up and attack Robotnik once the uh, pedals are off of Robotnik. So you want to uh, time your button presses. But, uh, 
this this game or uh, Tales was never has never been pr promoted as, as a playable character as a playable character or being in a Sonic game since uh, what was the games? Oh crap! I guess I could have used it there, but you, you can see I once I jumped off Tails, I could not use the copter combo again, even though I was trying to. So that just kind of gives you a an idea of the cooldown time. While you are still in the air, you can actually use uh, use the copter combo again, but you have to wait a few seconds. Damn it! Oh, well, that sucks. You do have to be pretty pretty precise with uh, your movements, or you can have Tails fly into fly into him, but it's a lot easier just to use the homing attack. I think it was uh, Sonic that uh, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing and Sonic 06 was the two games that uh, Sega pushed, or not pushed, but uh, promoted Tails as being a playable character. A lot more than any other game. Uh, just like in Sonic uh, Sonic Forward, all of the bosses take eight hits to defeat, and that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Okay. So let me see if I can get a good shot of him. So you can see just like, oh, I guess I could use the uh, copter combo to see a little bit better, but you can see uh, just like in uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, just like episode one, you use the, uh, you pop open a capsule just like the old games, and Robotnik flies away uh, with his Eggmobile destroyed, or uh, partially destroyed. Uh, the submarine combo, however, this is something that I forgot to mention. You, you can now play Sylvania Castle Zone Act 2, Act 3, Boss Act. Can now play White Park Zone and Oil Desert Zone Acts One through Three. Those are the next couple areas that we can play. And as this will tell us about the special stages, you can now play, this, play the special stage. Uh, the submarine combo tails. Uh, there's only been one game where tails can actually pick you up and carry you around like that in a submarine, and that was the Game Boy Advance game Sonic Advance Three, where there was a tag combo in that game. And you could group up with different characters and you could diff get di uh, different moves with each character. Well, with one of the with one of the moves between Sonic and Tails was Tails could carry Sonic around just like the uh, submarine combo. That's uh, just something I thought I, I would uh, put out there and I'll figure out which game Sega uh, promoted Tails as being a playable character. I don't think I can find it easily. Yeah, this is the first mainstream, this is the first game since Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing or Sonic 06 in the mainstream games to promote Tails as a playable character, not counting the digital re-release of Sonic the Hedgehog CD. Se Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing is considered a spin-off game, so in the main series, uh, the main storyline of games, Sonic 06 was the only mainstream, other mainstream game to promote Tails being a playable character outside of the digital re-release of Sonic the Hedgehog CD. But anyway... So thank you for watching the challenge of the video is how many times did I use the uh, partner combo throughout the entire Sylvania Castle Zone. I thank you for watching. Uh, the next the next video I will be doing White Park Zone. So until then, later everyone.